do everything and get here. How do we get here? Let's rewind this back. A lot of times people want to wear a lace wig, don't want to lose their edges in the process of trying to protect their hair, and they want it to be a protective style wearing their wig long term. There are several different things that I do, and I kind of touched on this in previous videos. Wig adhesive sprays I feel like are the best alternative to the actual glue if you do not want to have a long term hold. Today's video I'm going to touch bases on how I would protect my edges if I'm wearing wig adhesive glue. The wig adhesive glue is very, very hard to remove. I don't care how many of y'all say it's an easy process, it is not. So this week I'm going to be coming back to back with videos, sharing with you all today how I install to protect my edges. Tomorrow, is the glue sweat proof? Did it hold? Is this method I'm using in today's video holding through my workouts? I work out every single day. As we go through the week, I'm going to go through also the removal and show you all how complicated or not complicated um, the removal process for today's wig install is. So make sure your notifications are turned on. I'm gonna give you a second, click that subscribe button right below. You can get notified when I do upload videos. Now today's wig I absolutely adore. This is a chocolate brown, dark brown color. I hope it's showing up correctly. You know, this guy, I got this side thing going on right here. It's very, very elegant. I didn't show the styling in today's video, but we'll go back and style this wig throughout the week. But today is all about the install. So let's jump right into today's video. I'm Let's talk about this wig before we jump into the install. So this wig will be linked below in the description box. This wig did come in a brown color. I have already curled the hair so that we can jump straight into the install. However, I wanted you all to see what the hairline looked like um, before I applied it to my head. This is what the lace also looked like. The lace is very transparent and it is really, really nice. So we're going to install this. This is a 13 by six lace cap. So it does have the wefting in the center and also the combs and adjustable straps inside the cap. So if you want it to wear it glueless, you absolutely can. When it comes to my natural edges, I like to make sure that they are pushed completely out of the way. So I will take some gel and also my edge brush and just make sure they're laying flat and not all over the place. I do feel like if you do not lay your natural edges down prior to applying glue, this is what causes or could be one of the reasons you are losing your edges. Now, I also like to take my wig cap and I'm going to apply this over top. You can use a stocking if you feel like it's better for you. Now, of course, under your wig, you wanna make sure that your hair is laying as flat as possible. You can create a ponytail if you do not know how to cornrow or flat twist your hair. I kinda do whatever I feel like doing. Right now, I have braided my hair down so this is what it's going to be underneath all of my installs and that's how it's going to stay for a little while i do believe the best option for long-term wig installs if you plan to wear it a week or two is cornrows and i say that because your hair um, can lay as flat as possible without any bulges or you don't have to do anything to your hair next i'm going to go ahead and do basically the ball cap method um you want to get rid of that band that's going around the wig cap because you don't need it so the first thing you want to do is take some even um, bond spray and i'm only going to apply it right at the edge of my natural hairline this is going to keep all my hairs in place also further secure the wig cap so that it won't slide i'm going to spray the got to be spray all over the cap and then dry it all right so this method is something that i've recently tried and it actually is pretty good if you come back for my videos later this week you're going to see the removal process and everything so this is basically the scar way and i'm just going to use this to apply it over top of my natural hairline now this is not sticky enough where it's going to rip your hairs out it's a very soft soft material and it's also used for the skin now i'm using this as a barrier before i apply the glue because i don't want the glue to touch my natural hairline at all so that is what this is going to do next what i'm going to do is take my wig and i've already pre-sprayed the inside of it with some of the tinted lace do that if you have not bleached your knots make sure you do that and now i'm going to position the wig over top of that scar away so what we're going to do before we fix that is just 
get rid of any oils or dirt or residue that's on our forehead and then what I'm going to do is find where exactly I want the hairline to fall it's most likely going to be in front of my hairline since the color of this is light and I don't want that edge to show I'm just going to go across it with some contour and this is in a darker color this is the part where it can get a little tricky because if you don't cover this correctly you will get that edge um, now if your wig has the fake scalp material already in it it will not show but this wig has a super natural hairline that's very thin and it has no fake scalp material remember the barrier that i put there is to protect my natural edges is not to act like a fake scalp under the wig so um, using a wig that does have a fake scalp will hide that FYI <laughs> so for the glue today I'm using the HD glue and this is their active and I'm just applying this around the hairline now I want this application to be sweat proof and with this wig um, I definitely want to wear it for the rest of the week so I want to see if I can work out every single day and what the application will look like by the end of the week so like i said if you are subscribed you will see um, me wear this wig throughout the week and come back at the end of the week and i'm going to show you how i remove all of this okay so make sure your notifications are turned on and also be sure to thumbs up the video you guys i appreciate you so much Now my natural edges are protected and I'm going to pull the lace further down in front of that scar away. That way it's not going to be visible. Um, and I'm just using the back of my razor to press down the lace and then I'm gonna take my sleigh band and tie it down. Now, with this glue, this is not the white base glue, it's the clear glue. And with the clear glue, the consistency of it is very different. So I let it sit for 15 minutes. However, this happened. Okay. Now, this is the moment that will make everyone upset. If you spent hours on your wig install and this occurs. So what you're going to do is get you a lint-free towel and some 99% alcohol. Put it on that towel and rub that hairline until the residue is gone and the whiteness is gone um, and then what I'm going to do is take and cut away the extra lace now this hairline is down further because I put the hairline further in front of my hairline so you want to cut it back if you need to so that it falls naturally and no we're not gonna leave it like this but I'm gonna go ahead and spray this with some of the even um, lace spray just to get any areas that may have lifted and I'm just kind of just making sure that everything is laid flat and then I'm going to go back with my edge band which is softer and apply it down and let it sit for 15 minutes. So as you can see if you choose to use a wig glue the process is a bit longer. However if you want your wig and your edges to be protected then it's necessary to take these steps okay. Now I did pin curl the hair before this video because I already knew the install was going to take a little bit longer but the hair is absolutely gorgeous like look at this beautiful brown like it's just so gorgeous okay and like I said later on this week I'm going to be styling this wig so come back for more videos if you want to see how this wig holds up now let's remove this band and see if it sticks and okay it's not that bad I am going to just play with this and finesse it some because it definitely needs some finessing okay so if your wig look like mine right now do not go out the house like that honey don't do it just finesse it get it to look natural pull that hair out of that glue set your parting create some baby hairs and just play with it until it looks good so just sit back chill and watch the magic happen trust the process <laughs> Thank you. 
so it's starting to look better and better because i had to cut that hairline back i had to recreate the hairline again okay so if you plan to bring your hairline further down you may need to cut it back some but there are ways you can finesse it to make it look better as you can see you can't see that scar away at all so that works out really well like i said if you want to see the removal process for all of this you have to make sure that you are subscribed your notifications are on and you come back to the video when i upload it later this week um but yeah i absolutely love the way everything turned out i just think this wig is so pretty i do miss my highlights i can't lie about that like the one color is just it's 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 just old to me now because i didn't got so used to the highlights and all the wigs i've been wearing but i like this wig too it's pretty it's a nice little chocolate brown now i will say this the first day the glue will always be the strongest and the hairline will always look intense but over the next few days you all will see how the hairline softens up and everything just kind of starts to flow more natural so be sure to thumbs up the video subscribe if you're new and i thank you so much for joining me for today's video